Oh, I'm like majorly creeped out. I'm just waiting for something to jump out at me. Ooh. Can I not take this one? Can we talk, please? Ooh. Yeah, I did that. I saw that. I saw that. We're fine. Can we please talk? Is that not one I need to turn? There we go. Hey, yeah, I saw that. I saw that before you could come and get me. I almost feel like I need to shoot all of them because they're just suffering. Are these okay? I was like, they're gold, right? I turn them to gold, right? Okay, can I? Nope. We're just going sideways? Oh, that made me extremely nervous. I didn't like that. Got it. I'm sorry. Please. I just want to die. <laughs> Make it stop. I'm sorry. Help us. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just want to die. I'm sorry. Sorry. Kill us. Please. Please. Help us. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Hold on. You gotta hold still. There you go. Oh, there's another one. I can't get you. Okay, alright. He's not yelling. So I'm just gonna leave him alone. Looks like I'm supposed to go this way, but these doors obviously don't open. I don't know how to put this arrow away now that I've drawn it. Without firing it, so I'm just gonna hold on to it. <laughs> now, are they dead now, or are they just encased in gold again and now they're not in pain? Because I'm feeling like it might be the second. Oh, was I supposed to draw them out? Yep, I was supposed to draw them out. I may be dead. I know, I know, I'm sorry. You just hold still. I can fix you if you just hold still and stop attacking me.
Oh, thank you for the very nice checkpoint. Appreciate all of this. Come on, I'm closer. I'm right here. Are you serious? Ah, shit. All right, everyone's gold. Can we please talk? You got another volume for me? My beloved Galatea, my attempts at freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. My first charge was a Greek woman who I called Iodami after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy, was living flesh. Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin, so removing it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath and appeared to cause her great pain. At first, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule, and yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. Whatever possessed Iodami to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments bore similar results, and after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this god's forsaken place. You're making them suffer by trying to free them. You don't understand that? <gasps> just hold still. I will help you if you just hold still. That's all I need you to do. Frick! I don't like it. I know you're in pain. It's okay. Nope, they weren't anywhere near it. Shit. I didn't get anyone in gold. Let me help you. Sorry, I got. I thought I had. I thought I had that one twice. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, that's how I was supposed to do it. Just draw them out. I didn't even see the vase there. A little late now. Shit. 
Look, I'm trying to help you. What happened to this one? Appears to be dead. Why aren't you like the others? Woman, how could you do this? How could you do this? It's like these guys are watching in horror almost. Dear God, how? That's what that's for, but at least I thought that's what that was for. Is she, Is she just getting worse? Like, what is all this? Oh God. Half peeled closer. Please don't attack me. Please don't. You. Me? You're whispering to me through the statue somehow? Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. Behind me? Hi, please don't hurt me. <laughs> you must be Nevea. And you must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, look at what you made me do to her. This never would I didn't if do you just stayed away. I didn't do You're this. Going to pay for that. I didn't do this. Good luck with that. Draw a golden bow. If you attack me, we'll both end up encased in gold. And do you think I care about that? I don't care what happens to me as long as you get what you deserve. I didn't do this, woman. This has nothing to do with me. Liar. I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. And now look at her. You made me turn the most beautiful woman I've ever seen into this. Look at her. She's in agony. You did this. All I wanted was to spend my last moments with her, to see her beautiful face, to hear her speak freely instead of in those cryptic whispers. But as soon as I began my work, she stopped whispering to me. And now I discover she started whispering to you instead. What's so special about you? Uh, it's not just this statue. A lot of them do it. It's always the same voice. What do you mean the same voice? It's like someone else is whispering to me through the statues. Hmm. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seemed to share a common knowledge. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then this body is nobody. And everything I've done here was... was... Wait, I see what you're doing. Woman. You're trying to steal her away from me. Oh, God. Were you planning to wait until i have done all the hard work, then swoop in? Is that it? No. Liar. You tried to steal her away from me, and now look what you made me do. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't peel you, too. 
I ended up here by accident. All I want to do is leave. What? What are you talking about? I got trapped in tunnels under the city and came up inside the palace. Wait. So you're saying you weren't coming for us? I never had any intention of hurting you. So I did all this. I ruined her. For nothing. What have I done? Oh God, I feel sick. I am, I can't bear the thought of her being like this and in so much pain. It's the air coming into contact with her flesh. It's agonizing for them. But the only way to fix it will be to break the golden rule and let it run its course. At least that way she'd be golden again and we'd be together. All it would take is one little cut. I'd be... I can imprison you in gold. Ah! Oh shit! The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Well, how am I supposed to get out of here? Are you... Well, I'm gonna die. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Did the game die? I'm just dead. Yep, game, game is overloading. It's fine, just kill me. I can't get out of here, so just do it. Can I even fight you? Nope. What have I done? It's the air. But the air, at least... I can undo this. It's too late. There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. I'm sorry. You don't have to do anything. I can cover her in gold again. What? How? I have this golden bow. Really? I'm not sure I believe you. But if you can undo this mess, I'll... I'll give you the key to my old medical chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I imagine it would help Lucretia ease the suffering of those still in the city. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the golden rule and kill you and everyone else in this city. Understood? Okay. I got this. She's good now. You did it. You took away her pain. I don't know what to say. Thank you, thank you. I swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. I'll stay here to keep her company. But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I fear the only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. In any case, I must honor our bargain. Here's the key I promised you. It opens a chest in the Shrine of Apollo. I believe there are a few things in there which may be useful to Lucretia. Which we've already gotten. Now, please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down from there. Bye. Go and never return. Can I ask you any further questions? No. She just... Come on, game. Oh, zipline! Woohoo! Ooh! Hold on. Oh, I guess I could have climbed up here too. Don't die. <laughs> Please don't die. Interesting. Mm. 
swayed against the current, she says. I'm locking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come of it. So that was the palace. I've been over here to look. Our money. You know what? It's safe. I do have... I do want to check out the temple. But, I have a theory. Be careful who you trust. Thanks. I have a theory. Ave. Don't be so foolish. If you kill me, we all die. Just me. Allow me I to mean, explain. just everybody. When I discovered the ritual to Proserpina, the instructions came with a warning mm -hmm. about paradoxes. Mm -hmm. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that you're there to illustrate, if you map the same thing, if either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand. If I killed you, everyone would die and I would return to my original timeline. Indeed. I might need to rethink this. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. No, that was the whole point, was that I can go home. I don't need to do this. I can go home. <laughs> oh, frick. Wait, how do I take the bow out? Many shall suffer. Oh, it won't let me kill him. There we go. Create a time paradox. I go home. Talk to Al. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Um, I came in here to find you? Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Kathleen. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina and murdered a local magistrate, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said hmm. that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled and the statues sprang to life, firing arrows at the city's inhabitants. Apparently, as the citizens screamed and died in pain, the stranger just vanished in a flash of light. That was me. Weird, that definitely wasn't me. I didn't for one moment think it was, but <laughs> the way you say that makes me wonder. I mean... How many people with that name could there be in this place? Really, dude? I don't understand how you could have been here 2,000 years ago. When I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging? Uh, I'm sorry, come again? I'm just surprised to see you alive. That's all. I still have the note you carved? Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Uh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your fate. I... Uh, I'm not following. I killed the man who opened a time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying... Because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. Yep. Now you're getting it. I guess. So what you're really saying is, you brought me back from the dead. I guess. let me die all over again. You saw the tablet. I spent a lifetime searching for a way out and never found one. Wait, what? I can't see how I could possibly find one now, so it seems like we're both going to die here. What are you talking about? 
We can't leave? A mistake? You murdered a man in cold blood, and now there's a city full of dead people. It's only a matter of time before we join them. I guess all those old Latin inscriptions were right. Pro peccata unius multis dolabant. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Are we trapped in the- I just thought we went back to the cave. Before the time portal. How many might have survived? Ending one of four! I knew there were multiple endings for this game. Okay, we're, we're obviously going to go back. Alright. Now we know. <laughs> Let me go talk to, um... I'm going to put this away. Oh, gosh, freaking darn it. Thank you. Is that how I take it out? No, that's the flashlight. Oh, it rotates? Okay, now I know. I wanted to talk to Fabia. I hope you're coping. Greetings and salutations. Now let's see if... Oh, shiny. You... you took care of him. Mm -hmm. An accident. So, I... If I said yes, I'd be admitting to murder. I don't understand. Oh, I see. Oh, I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. Sorry. I promise, nobody else will ever know what you did. But I know. That was really clever. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. That's interesting. Oh, speaking of which, welcome. I'm Fabia. Sorry I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? So because she said I murdered him out loud, it counted. But doing it... That's so weird. So, like, if I accuse Dacius of murdering Yulia because he didn't give the Silthium, would that have broke the golden rule like it didn't him doing it didn't break it but if I'd said you murdered her that's interesting what's your story oh, there's not much to tell I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can how'd you end up here I suppose it all started about eight months ago I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick terrible timing my pa had just arranged a husband for me a fisherman's son I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. I remember closing my eyes for a bit, and I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was in a forest by a river. Hmm. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. Are you all dead? Did she die of her sickness, and then the guy that went to help, maybe he got beat to death, and then everybody else who jumped in the river drowned? And that's how we're all here? Most of the others were in Rome before they woke up in the forest, but you're saying you were dazed right away. Oh yeah. I suppose you're right. I hadn't really thought about it. But the gods are mysterious and powerful. Who knows what their plans are for us? Yeah, is everybody dead? <laughs> Do you know the way out? What? You've been here a few moments and you're desperate to get out already? Why not give the place a chance before you try to leave? Good people here. Galerius works hard on the farm so I can put food on our tables. And Lucretia tries to keep us healthy. My friend Georgius is always mending our clothes. 
and Virgil makes sure these old walls don't fall down around us. Well, he... he does his best. I'm just saying, there are worse places you could live out your days. Are we in purgatory? I don't belong here. Well, I can tell from your funny accent you're not from around here, but that doesn't mean you don't belong, does it? Thoughts on the golden rule? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about, will we? Hmm. I like your optimism. Have you met people? <laughs> You're funny. I'll bet my friend Georgius will like you. And those interesting clothes of yours. And I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule with you too. He'll be just across the forum in his shop. Mm hmm. I've met him. I'm going now. All right. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. Hmm. Huh. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the next one.